continuing the theme of items that have loads of extras because somebody thinks that's a good idea, let's put those two things together. Here's a new module I found on eBay and it's based around the uh, TP4056 chip there and that's uh, the same as these modules which are all over eBay and in fact you can get these, this is the sort of second edition with the uh, load uh, control MOSFET on it as well and you can get these for five for about £1.50 they're getting to 20 25 pence each not much money at all but this one's a bit different as you can see let's get a bit closer so we can see this uses a mini USB and uh, there's a potentiometer there two buttons uh, six header pins over this side and three here on the bottom uh, we can see the charging LED for the TP4056 and a full LED um, but then there's all sorts of other bits and bobs going on here the pins up here we've got battery positive battery negative we've got a temp pin voltage plus ground and voltage minus 5 volts minus so there's all sorts of things going on here and if we lift it up so that we can see properly we've got 5 volts ground and 2.5 volts on these pins here. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what the potentiometer is about so uh, let's find out. So as you can see now I've brought out my DVM and we can see that I've connected the negative terminal to the ground point on these pins. Uh, if we attach to the 2.5 volt pin we actually get 2.494 a little bit of drift and I have checked this meter before using another voltage reference so it is reasonably accurate uh, 2.494 there and the 5 volt is actually showing 5.17 volts uh, and as this is sold having a voltage reference on it that's not brilliant I wouldn't have said 5.17 volts, but I suspect that is probably the voltage of my USB coming in. Perhaps I should check that. Yes, yeah, so I've added a bit more cable length now, so there is a little bit of voltage drop, but as you can see on the input, on the USB input here, there's 5.164 volts, and on the uh, 5 volt pin here, there's 5.15 volts. So I suspect that is just connected directly to the USB input. So what is this pin marked V plus? Well, uh, let's plug in the DVM. It is 3.336 volts. Well, that's presumably coming from the AMS Trouble 17 uh, 3.3 volt linear regulator there. And I'm assuming if I press this button here, that is an adjustable voltage and that must be on the potentiometer then so if I adjust that 1.6 volts that's definitely decreasing there 1.48 volts and where does it go up to and I keep turning this but I'm not hearing any clicks but we must be near the end now uh, 3.75 volts so it goes from 1.4 to 3.75 on the adjustable output and you can see that the adjustable LED is illuminated or oh, we go back to 3.3 volts but what about this pin down here that voltage minus 5 volts yeah well we are seeing a negative value here 5.15 volts uh, between ground and this pin here uh, but this also has a button this second button is marked so what does that do okay so it's negative 3.3 volts or negative 5 volts well having a, a negative 5 volts and a positive 5 volts could be quite handy now I don't remember anything on the TP4056 datasheet about temperature compensation so perhaps we need to have a look at that and see if we can work out what that pins about and here we have the TP4056 datasheet and if we scroll down pin 1 is actually the temperature uh, pin and uh, we need to connect a negative temperature coefficient thermistor 
Um, if the temp pin's voltage is below 45% or above 80% of the supply voltage V in for more than 0.15 seconds, uh, it means the temperature is too high or too low and charging is suspended. And the last thing of note on this board is this little 8 pin chip here. And I can read on there it says 7660. Let me just look up that chip there. And I believe that's this Intersil chip, and it's the ICL7660. And as you can see, it's a DC to DC converter. Um, input range of plus 1.5 volts to plus 10 volts, and results in a complementary output of minus 1.5 to minus 10 volts. And reading that data sheet, it made me wonder if I press both of these buttons, so I change it to adjustable, and the negative one there, will that allow me to change the negative voltage? Uh, 3.7, ah yes it does, so again, I can go from presumably about 1.4 to 3.7 volts, but this time in the negative range. So I can't honestly say why this board exists, I can't really work out what it's been designed for, um, but it seems to work quite well as a TP4056 lithium ion battery charger, and it's been interesting playing with the plus and minus voltages and the adjustable voltages and that sort of thing, but perhaps in the comments perhaps you can give me some ideas on what this board is really designed for. It's kept me busy for half an hour so that's enough really. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you did give me a thumbs up, comment down below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.